Hey everyone, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. I am gonna be looking at both cameras. So my phone is up top and my uh, laptop's right here. I uh, just wanted to make sure that this does go live, uh, but I didn't do it on the usual account. I actually did it on another account. I was rushing, so my fault with that. Uh, let me share my diffusers on, okay. So I received a lot of questions on people asking about hormones and you guys aren't sure like where to begin, what the next step is as soon as um, either you wake up and you're just like, okay, something's not right. And you know that you need support, you need help. Okay, so let's start uh, with a quote from my favorite YL book on hormones, uh, Taming the Dragon Within. And it's by Leanne uh, Deardoff. Uh, DC and David Dyrdov, DC. Uh, how are women like dragons? So much is obvious. We are living furnaces. We're moody, blowing up at the littlest things of the day and being calm and controlled the next. We are full of love and service and are tremendously loyal to those we love. Some days of the month, we are starving hungry. Who knows that feeling? Some days we have headaches and cramps. Some days we take in so much water, we puff with edema and water weight. Sometimes we seem to explode around the middle and sometimes we're exhausted and need to sleep a lot. How do we tame the inner dragon? We balance our hormones so our fury dragon is put to sleep and the other side, the kind side, can emerge and take over. I get it, I really do. Um, no, this is kind of annoying me, so I'm just going to put this here. Okay, so looks okay. <laughs> All right, Wild has created an entire line of supplements for both men and women to support that crazy endocrine system. Well, uh, let's take a look at both because we do have men and women in uh, my group, Oil You Need, and for those of you that are watching on Zoom, thank you so much for logging in. We appreciate you. And I'm very excited to just do this impromptu because I said, all right, I'm just going to do this class, answer some or most of all of your questions. And if you do have more questions, please let me know. And I'm happy to answer those for you. Okay. Um, there are both men and women's uh, products with YL because men can have dragon days too. I know my husband does. So every single product that I've ever used uh, in the past uh, four years that has supported my endocrine system, is, your endocrine system is in charge of your hormones uh, because your thyroid and all that is controlled by your endocrine system. And I am very happy to say that I did find the solution, which was with wild plant-based products. Now, uh, which ones we're going to get into specifics and why they work. So whether it's an oil or an oil infused product, it has our seed to seal standard. And let's just really quick go over why you want to use uh, while and why you have to be very, very picky about what products you use, because no matter what company you're going for, they're going to have their products, of course, but it's just a matter of what is in that product and why is it helping or not helping you. Uh, while they pick the best seeds from strong thriving plants, uh, the har they harvest at the plant's peak, so you get the highest quality oil. Uh, wild distills on site without chemicals. So if you are afraid of any of those preservatives, the fillers, the stuff that pretty much got you to where you need this class right now, uh, don't be afraid because YL only uses the best top ingredients. YL tests every batch multiple times with state-of-the-art equipment, the same exact forensics that the FBI uses. I don't think Walmart uh, carries products that do the same thing, that have the same quality control. So when someone tells me, well, that product doesn't work, I bought it at Walmart. Mm, it's like buying um, steak at the gas station. It's probably not gonna be the same quality as Peter Luger, right? Okay, so. Drinking my delicious red drink because this also helps my hormones. What exactly are hormones? Does anyone know? Hormones are messengers in your body that regulate 
metabolism, growth, development, you know, puberty, tissue function, sexual function, reproduction, sleep and mood. With all of these responsibilities, they can also contribute to a plethora of issues uh, if any detail is out of whack. So ever wake up sometimes you're just like, I don't get it. I slept perfectly yesterday and why do I feel like crap today? Or other times you're just rolling in bed and you're rolling and you're, you're like, all right, counting sheep didn't work. Uh, this chamomile tea didn't work. This um, just meditating didn't work. This yoga didn't work. Well, because there's only so much that all of these other external factors can do for you. Now, migraines, insomnia, weak bones, weight gain, hot flashes, mood swings, and fertility, our ability to handle stress and low libido. Over time, out of balance, hormones can lead to rapid aging and increased risk of disease. So if you don't handle it now, if you don't take care of the issues now, you're bound to get even worse and feel uh, bioaccumulation kicking in. Hormones can affect every single cell in your body. They tell us when to wake up, when to go to sleep. They tell us when to eat, when to stop eating. They dictate how we'll respond to stress, joy, and fear. They tell us when to replace cells or just let the cells fade away. Knowing how hormones work and what you can do to keep them at a healthy level is an enormous task in itself. Okay, so <clears throat> now you understand a little bit about the endocrine system, hormones, we do have the hypothalamus and the pituitary gland team, uh, which that it will be a class for another day. Your thyroid gland, that'll be a class for another day. Uh, just want to give you, you know, a little, just a little thing about your thyroid. It's a gland that works under the direction of the pituitary gland, and it creates hormones that boost the metabolism of every cell. It can trigger how hungry you are. So if a person maybe has any diabetic issues and the insulin resistance, and they're just thinking, well, it's probably my thyroid. Okay, well, how do you support your thyroid? What supplement, what product, what are you taking to support that? Now, uh, one of my very, very favorites is Endoflex. Endoflex is amazing and it tastes delicious. To me, uh, I used to take it a lot when we were in Japan because Chris was always deployed and I was just constantly on overdrive in the sense of, I didn't know what was going on with my body, why uh, I would sometimes sleep all day and wake up around three, four o'clock. And then I would be up all night, but I wanted to work. And then as soon as Chris was online and I had the chance to talk to him, I was just angry. It's like, why am I angry if I've been waiting for this moment all day? So again, when, you have a product that is great for not only your emotions, but your hormones, your physical and emotional issues, because, you know, we have to learn how to handle them. That's how I know that something is being regulated in my body. So again, all that chamomile tea, all the yoga, all the everything that you can be doing. Yes, it's fantastic, but it's only going to go so far. You know, it's like trying to lose weight when you're trying to lose weight. You can eat all the tofu and spinach all day, but you also have to tone up. You have to go to the gym. It's the same exact principle. Um, you have your adrenal glands and the most famous glands in the endocrine system because we can connect them to our energy levels. Uh, I love nitro. Uh, one of our products, nitro, it is amazing because uh, it's full of um, iodine and just one little bottle of iodine is the daily amount that you need. Now, we can talk about adrenal glands all day, but that's not what this class is about. But you learned about adrenal glands, thyroid support, um, and we're gonna talk a little bit more about um, estrogen and progesterone. The major glands of the body, that's another class which we'll cover, but let's shift gears and talk about two of the hormones that some of these glands release, which are estrogen, and progesterone. Progesterone takes control if the ovaries release eggs. It helps a fertilized egg attach to the uterus. It's a neurosteroid produced in the reproductive system and neurological system. It impacts the ability of nerves to carry signals. If progesterone isn't present, estrogen will take over and inhibit the chemical process. If it sits there like that long enough, 
it can cause the cells to mutate and cause serious issues, issues such as cancer. Progesterone and estrogen have to work together. They have to be synergized. Uh, estrogen feminizes the body. Both male and female bodies carry this hormone, but females carry more of it. Sometimes people, you know, they'll sarcastically say that guy has too much estrogen in him. Well, yes, that is possible. So when you have, um, in addition to its role in sexual and reproductive health, it maintains skin, blood vessels, bones, and aids in memory. On the flip side, if there are imbalances with estrogen, it can lead to problems such as increased fat storage, uh, fluid retention, dry skin, severe premenstrual or menopausal symptoms, irregular menstruation, uh, makes a few products to help with the balance between. So YL makes a few products and you know, like these that I'm looking at and I will show you them in a few seconds. Um, what I love about them is that the products that YL creates, they, each product is created for a specific purpose. It's because you want to target a specific issue such as the endocrine system, estrogen and progesterone balance, hormonal issues. All of these products work in sync. So hormone testing can be like finding a needle in the haystack. Uh, 15 hormones that are off one month may be normal the next. And the new set may be off later. At the very least, you can get testing done to see what estrogen and progesterone levels are. Now, in the meantime, uh, we've discussed a few uh, elements that can throw hormones out of whack and lead to health issues. Xenoestrogens do just that. They're estrogen mimicking compounds, a type of hormone disruptor found in food additives, insecticides, weed killers, plastics, shampoos, cosmetics, detergents, and the linings of food and drinks we use. What does that mean? That means that anytime you are looking in the mirror and you're just like, what is up with my skin? Why is my acne flaring up? Why do I have these blemishes? Why is my hair falling out? Why, does, uh, why do my nails keep chipping? You have to look at your personal products. You have to understand <clears throat> and read the ingredients that are in them because the ingredients that are in them in 15 seconds, once it touches your skin, it's now in your bloodstream. In like a few minutes later, it's now in every single cell of your body. So every time you use the parabens, the sulfates, the SLS, all of those different toxic chemical ingredients that are possibly sitting in your shampoo, conditioner, body wash. <clears throat> if you have candles, if you love your pumpkin spice latte from Starbucks, understand that all of these products are dangerous and you don't want those ingredients anywhere near your body. Okay, so <clears throat> another thing to be very, very, very picky about and just be very selective is the food you're eating. If it's not organic, if it's not natural, if it's processed, Chances are you're disrupting your hormones because all of these products are made with fillers. You don't want fillers in your body. You don't want these preservatives. You don't want any of this stuff. You don't want it near you. Another reason why is because processed food destroys your immune system. It, there's, no, uh, there's no benefit to it. When you look at the frequencies of it, zero. You get zero nutrition from it. <clears throat> Excuse me. I've literally been talking to people all morning. So <clears throat> this is why I decided, you know what, instead of talking to people, saying the same exact thing over and over again, I'm just going to do a class. Mm -hmm. this, this is how uh, we ended up here. Um, I'm going to quickly, actually, I totally forgot to introduce myself. Uh, for those of you that are on Zoom and you've never seen me before, my name is Jenny and I uh, cured myself from Picos four years ago, naturally using uh, plant-based products from Young Living. And if you are skeptical, like I was, understand that I've done so much research. I've read uh, so many books because I'm very passionate about helping people. I'm very uh, passionate about supporting your health and providing you with that, um, the access to 
these amazing products and teaching you, educating you, because it serves you no purpose to have all these amazing products just sitting on the counter. You want to use them and you want to uh, also save money because why not, right? <clears throat> so I have not had a single cyst in four years and um, all of my PICO symptoms are completely gone. And that's why I teach people because I say, you know what, if I was able to do it um, when I was broke as a joke, when I literally barely had enough uh, money to cover food and rent, I'm pretty sure anyone else can do this. <clears throat> While we're on the topic of hormone disruptors, there's a big elephant in the room that no one seems to talk about, and that's toxic feminine products used during your cycle. Make sure you look at those products and make sure that it says chlorine free. They have no synthetic pesticides, no dyes, no fragrances. If you don't know what a fragrance is, it's a company's way of using loopholes to mask. Could be one ingredient, could be thousands. You don't know that because the company does not have to legally disclose that. Some of my favorite brands to look into are Vita, NatriCare, uh, and Organic with a Y. Organic with a Y. Personally, I don't trust some generation, um, OB Organics or Honest, because it's made by Coca-Cola. Uh, sorry, guys, if you drink Coca-Cola, that's awesome for you. But that is a huge no-no, because if something can strip the paint of a car, imagine what it can do to your digestive system. I encourage you to do some research before you purchase products that claim to be organic. Uh, just because something is organic, at the same time, doesn't mean it's top quality. <clears throat> All pollutants and toxins were exposed to accumulate in tissues such as the breast, thyroid, ovaries, and uterus. Some can imitate natural hormones, uh, activating hormone receptors that overstimulate glands. This can increase the risk of hormone-dependent cancers like breast and uterine cancer, among other serious issues and disorders. How do you know if your hormones are off? Like, seriously. Your body will give you very clear signals. Uh, there's this wonderful book, uh, Taming the Dragon, that I spoke of in the, in the beginning of this class, and it's by David Yerjoff, and here is an uncomprehensive list cited from a section in the book called, Are My Hormones Really Off? Signs you have progesterone estrogen dominance. Tender breasts, mood swings, water retention, weepiness, you have trouble getting going in the morning, even after nine hours of sleep cyclical headaches, migraines, low libido, irritability, and quick to anger. So if you get pissed off really quick, especially at your spouse for absolutely nothing, your hormones are off. Anxiety, uterine fibroids, puffiness and bloating, bleeding changes, cold body temperature, cystic ovaries or polycystic ovaries. If you have um, <clears throat> my ovaries, when I discovered officially that I had uh, cystic ovaries was because I went in for a regular OBGYN checkup. And I was just going in for a regular checkup. It was nothing serious. I just had to do a pap smear. <clears throat> and surgeries were, I think, uh, delayed for about a month. And the cyst I had on my ovary was covering 75% of my ovary. So I was immediately put into surgery two days later because that was literally the soonest that they could get me in. And they said, if we don't operate on her now, she could possibly lose that ovary or even worse, um, never be able to have kids. So again, <clears throat> if you feel any of these things, um, please, please, please make sure that you understand the importance of regulating your hormones, of telling your OBGYN there's something wrong and using products that support your endocrine system because it's very serious. Now, had I known all of the dangerous products I was consuming growing up, you know, our parents didn't know any better. You can't blame them. They just, if it's on the shelf, it has to be safe, right? Wrong. But that'll be a subject for another day. Um, back to uh, some of the symptoms. Vaginitis and vaginal infections, dry vagina, little mucus, uterine or endometrial cancer, 
fungal or candida infections, heavy menses, breast cancers, sleep disturbances, sugar cravings or feeling hangry. You need caffeine to get going in the morning, then again, mid-afternoon, elevated triglycerides, infertility, variations in your menstrual cycle, leaky bladder, interstitial, interstitial cystitis, tingling of the hands and feet, uh, tinnitus, fibromyalgia, digestion problems, and low blood sugar. Before we cover the products that can help um, balance these hormones, it's equally important that if you experience these hormones to have regular colon cleanses, you know, maybe you want, might want to consider uh, colon hydrotherapy or coffee enemas, or, you know, I love uh, YL's products. We have the cleansing trio, and it's particularly important that you're regularly, regularly supplementing your pituitary, thyroid, and adrenal glands. We spoke about those in the beginning of the class. We talked about a little bit about what each gland um, needs, but I'll do another class on that another time. So, dun, 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 dun. balancing these hormones. This little guy right here. This little guy. Progestins Plus. <coughs> it's the queen of estrogen progesterone supplements in wild. Uh, this is an endocrine support serum made with essential oils and wild yam extract. Um, sorry. <clears throat> Excuse me, guys. I'm sorry. Yeah, been talk last night talking all day. It's just like, okay, we're trying to catch up here. It's an endocrine support serum made with essential oils and wild yam extract. It has properties to support women's natural cycles. It's actually a serum, not an oil. It's uh, micronized, which means uh, finely ground, bioidentical progesterone derived, derived from wild yam and the base of vitamin E oil. It also contains copaiba, frankincense, bergamot, clove, and peppermint essential oils to assist with cramps or headaches during your cycles. It's very simple to use. Uh, just apply a couple of drops to the um, carotid arteries, which are the large blood vessels that run up the sides of the neck. For adult women, use progestins for mild headaches, moodiness, anger, cramps, hot flashes, food cravings, etc. You can use this up to every two hours throughout the day. If your symptoms get worse or you get nauseous, use more because it indicates your progesterone levels are very low. As you age, your body slows down with producing progesterone. So USP grade progesterone is not the same as progestins, which are synthetic versions sold by pharma. Taking synthetic hormones is really, really bad for you. And that can lead to life-threatening side effects. The Cleveland Clinic, one of the most respected clinics in the U.S., has an entire warning page on the hormone replacement therapy. In their words, while HT... <clears throat> Hormone therapy helps women get through menopause. The treatment is not risk-free. Known health risks include increased risk of endometrial cancer, increased risk of blood clots or stroke, increased chance of a gallbladder, gallstone problems, and increased risk of dementia. Oh, wait, the list goes on. Increased risk of heart disease, increased risk of breast cancer if used beyond three to five years, monthly bleeding, irregular spotting, breast tenderness, fluid retention, headaches, including migraine headaches, skin discoloration, brown or black spots, increased breast density. Do you still wanna take that? I didn't think so. I don't know about you, but <clears throat> Progestins Plus is a natural way of supporting the endocrine system. So it can do what it needs to do without replacing the hormones it should be making on its own. If you need to play around and they're not seeing the results you want from Progestins Plus, there are other phytoestrogen supplements you can try. I usually recommend Progestins Plus first because most women have positive responses. If you have any reactions, just uh, look at the book. There's actually a troubleshooting section in it for Progestins Plus. Okay. Oh, and also it smells amazing. So Progestins Plus, I still use this religiously every single night. <clears throat> Femigen. It's a natural phytoestrogen uh, supplement that supports female health with the benefits of Dong Kwai. 
black cohosh, amino acids, and essential oils. Black and blue cohosh are plants and are natural sources of phytoestrogens. Femigen supports bone health for both men and women. It aids the brain, mood, bones, heart, skin, and other tissues. Femigen contains the essential oils clary sage for hormone regulation and other reproductive function. Sage to maintain the balance between estrogen and progesterone, testosterone, and support both the nervous system and adrenal cortex. Ylang ylang to support the adrenal glands and phenol to provide overall support for all glands. It's, re it's recommended to take two capsules at breakfast and at lunch. I absolutely love my Femigen. <clears throat> Sclorescence, it's in one of my, somewhere in here, but it's not a capsule, it's actually an essential oil. Uh, and it helps manage stress and is a natural romance enhancer. So I suggest you take sclerescence in the capsule. Oh, that's right, it's in the kitchen. Because <laughs> I put it in my tea sometimes. Uh, it, you just put it in the capsule or you add it to um, your water, your tea, your beverage of choice. And you can also apply it topically to your belly. Endoflex, this guy right here. It's an oil designed to support the endocrine system. Uh, there's a vitality version that you can take as a dietary supplement with one to three drops in the capsule um, in the veggie capsule, uh, it contains six different oils that are great for your endocrine glands, like geranium, spearmint. A lot of you talk a lot about spearmint tea. Well, I use spearmint essential oil because of the therapeutic benefits. You don't know where you're getting the spearmint from. You have no idea how it's being sourced. So that's why I always tell people, get your hands on spearmint essential oil. Um, this also has sage, myrtle, and nutmeg. I love rubbing this on my throat twice daily over my thyroid gland because again, you just, you just never know what's going on, right? You're exposed to so many different uh, people and things and um, just everything around you, especially if you're starting to go out again and uh, you're, you're seeing different emotions through people's eyes, you want to make sure you protect yourself. Okay, kind of lone plus. It's a cream, a natural prenolone cream that enhances low levels of the hormones it helps produce. Prenolone is essentially a steroid hormone that can transform into various hormones like DHEA, testosterone, estrogen, and more. We usually associate hormones with stages in our lives like puberty, pregnancy, and menopause. But hormones impact us minute by minute and influence the health of our bodies, minds, and emotions every single day, no matter what stage we're in. Hormones and emotions. Um, we'll talk about the hypothalamus at a later date, but it's one of the main parts of the limbic system. Um, if you don't know what the limbic system is, it's the center of the brain that responds to emotional stimuli and uses it to regulate the endocrine system. So ever walk by somewhere and it smells like something familiar and you're just like, oh man, it smells like grandma's house and you get all happy. Or maybe you walk by and you smell um, someone's cologne and you're like, man, that guy was a loser. I can't believe I dated him. <laughs> That's how the um, limbic system works. Okay, places where emotions are stored are in various organs of the body and that'll be a class for another day. See, that's like six classes we have coming up. Okay. Um, Progestins Plus, we covered. Femigen, we covered. Thyromin. Where's my thyroid? Thyromin. Thyromin works on metabolism, energy, body temperature, and calorie burning. It's proactive in supporting the thyroid. It uses proactive. Sorry, it uses. Um, let's see. It's proactive in supporting the thyroid. It uses porcine glandular, glandular extracts to create hormones. It contains four oils to include. Myrtle. Myrtle is amazing for healthy skin and nails. Peppermint is fantastic for healthy muscles, bones, and skin. Myrrh is a powerful antioxidant and spearmint for system support. Cortistop. Cortistop is a hormone produced by the adrenal gland that responds to stress and low blood sugar. When you want to support a healthy level of cortisol in your body, you reach for cortisol. 
Cortisol is good for your fight or flight response, but when it's produced too often, it can be harmful. You can experience fatigue, have a hard time maintaining a healthy weight and have cardiovascular trouble. The supplement helps support your body's natural balance. It's designed to aid female glandular systems. It's not hormone replacement therapy. The supplement moves in and supports. It helps you wake up feeling more rested and less on edge. I know that when I don't take my, uh, my cortisol, because you have to discontinue for like two to four weeks. So you use it daily for eight weeks. And then after that, you discontinue for two to four weeks. Why? Because you don't want your body to become dependent on this. And you definitely don't want your body to stop producing it. So that's why when I take this again, when I restart my cycle again, um, I don't need 12 hours of sleep anymore. Like today I was up early and, you know, Chris stayed in bed and I was like, I don't need to sleep that late. Like I'm good. I'm done. Um, 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 this supplement <clears throat> helps you wake up, feel, feeling more rested, less on edge, helps you hit a desired weight or feel emotionally balanced and contains the essentials fennel, which is really good for feelings of well-being during your cycle. Peppermint, which is soothing, clary sage, which is a hormone oil, Canadian fleabane, which is for cardiovascular and hormone system support. It's a very rare oil. And frankincense for emotional balance. Um, I take two capsules at night and then just use it for eight weeks. Um, then discontinue for two to four weeks before resuming and don't take um, any glandular replacements nonstop because, again, Hormones need support, not replacement. There's my clear sage. Here it is. Female hormone support oils. Clary sage, uh, also known as lady libido. Clary sage is great for emotions and mood swings. It helps with occasional anxiety and improves cognitive function. It's helpful with monthly uh, cramping. I love to put it directly on my ovaries because this oil is why I became a believer. Uh, dragon time. Where's my dragon time? Dragon time. It's somewhere in the house. <laughs> but here's my uh, dragon time carrier. Uh, it supports feelings of stability and calmness. It helps with moodiness during PMS. Contains oils like fennel, clary sage, marjoram, lavender, blue yarrow, and jasmine. It's good for both young and mature women. Apply it directly to your uh, abdomen and lower back, and it can also get you in the mood. Lady Sclerial. It uh, enhances the feminine nature and relaxes you. It contains the oils jasmine, bergamot, geranium, orange, and more. It can be alluring and seductive as a perfume. This oil helps get you in the mood. So again, are we seeing like a pattern here that it's the same floral oils that support women's hormones? Yes, right? Now I'm just going to give you guys one oil for men, which is uh, Mr. Because men will be another class. Um, <clears throat> if you're having trouble with a low sex drive, Around the 15th of the month, add one to three drops of Mr. around your ankles. Sometimes you can just smell it and Mr. boosts male testosterone. But sometimes women need a little bit of it every month. So there are plenty of other products that we could talk about, but that's what I wanted to um, just get you guys to understand that it's very simple to apply these products to our daily lifestyle. And that way, our life changes. So if you do want to know more, have questions, want to access these products, ask the person that invited you to the Zoom call or to the group. Um, if it was me, please let me know. And I'm happy to help you get a 24% wholesale discount and uh, maybe even free shipping. So again, ask the person that invited you to this group or to the Zoom call and if you, again, have any questions, if you want to know more, please join their group, Oil You Need with Big Red Heart, Oil You Need. And uh, we are so happy to have you here. We're so happy to just 
teach you a little bit of what we can because we're all in it to help support each other. All right, uh, I will catch you guys later. Thank you so much for watching. Bye, take care.